It's always been something much more than profit loss statements. It's something much more than just creating supplements for people. I mean, it's become a way to help people reach their goals. It's a mission, and that mission is not even close to completion. When I started my career in the industry, basically I started Weeder Publications. I was fortunate and blessed enough to have Joe Weeder as my ultimate boss. It was a dream come true. I got to work with the best in the industry. Unfortunately at Weeder, I just, it was time to move on. I needed something new. From there, I kind of got a little thing started called Instone. I was a founding member of Instone, which was Sylvester Stallone's line of nutritional supplement. After that, I was literally kind of fed up with the industry, so to speak. I mean, dealing at, with working at Weeder, I dealt with a lot of different companies. And honestly, not to, I'm not going to name any names, I didn't like how they did business. I didn't like how they treated their customers. I didn't like their quality control and I always wanted to do something about it. So I wanted to leave the industry and give up. Um, funny thing is, I was convinced by a, a fellow person in the industry that maybe we should start our own gig. Maybe I should start Cyvation and do something different. From there, Cyvation was born. And Cyvation has always been a dream. It's always been something much more than profit loss statements. It's something much more than just creating supplements for people. I mean, it's become a way to help people reach their goals. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, the reason this was started is so you can look yourself in the mirror and know that you're doing something good for society. Yeah, you're providing for your family, running a successful business, but you can look yourself in the mirror and know that at the end of the day, your kid's going to be like, I'm proud of what my dad does. You know, I'm proud of what he does, and I'm proud of the work he puts into it, and the ethics and morals he runs his company with. And honestly, that's how Cyvation was started. It's a mission, and that mission's not even close to completion. Cyvation's first supplement was Neurostim. Cyvation started, it was going to be an endurance company, believe it or not. Um, what we found is that I had spent the last few years in the supplement industry. I had no clue how that market worked. So opening up a market in a market you have nothing, no knowledge of, I mean, it's not going to work. So Neurostim, we marketed it towards bodybuilders. That category at the time was decently not really there. It was non-existent. All you really had was choline cocktail by Twin Lab. So we were able to really get started with Neurostim. And from there, we had other products launch. And luckily, it was a, it was a good steamroll effect. We kind of were able to launch products. and you know, earn customer respect and support through our customer service and the fact that we delivered on our promises. My staff at Cyvation, I would not call my staff, my colleagues at Cyvation are honestly the most brilliant people I've ever worked with. I mean, I've worked with the best CFOs you can name. I mean, AMI, American Media, who bought Weeder Publications, they had some really, really talented people. Honestly, our CFO right now, Brian Kinn, he's better than anyone you'll ever dream of working with. He has more street knowledge and he's more sales friendly, so to speak, than any CFO we've ever laid my eyes on. As far as everything else, Howard Stewart, brilliant man. Mike McCandless, great guy. I've known him for years. You know, very, very, he, for goodness sakes, he had a site, built his old company on testing products for quality and purity. How more perfect of a fit can you have? And he works more on the Prima Force side. And then you have, you know, you have other things like Team Cyvation, which that's completely Derek. Derek runs Team Cyvation. Derek is Team Cyvation. He took a concept and built it into an organization with tens of thousands of members, the largest personal training organization that I know of in the world. Then you got Rob Moran, who basically, you know, he's a utility infielder, but he's your best player at every position. You put him anywhere, he's going to perform. Not only that, both of these guys are outstanding bodybuilders and they practice what they preach. And at Cyvation, you practice what you preach. That gets you a long way because that's what we're all about. We're not just another company with a fat guy sitting behind an oak desk telling you how to get lean when they weigh 340 pounds of pure fat. Now, that's not how we roll. We actually do what we say and say what we do. As far as everything else, we got warehouse manager, Jason Turner, phenomenal people. The staff at Cyvation, the colleagues, the partners, whatever you want to call them, I will not hesitate to say they're the best in the industry. R&D department, Derek Charleboy, Chris Lockwood, Chuck Rudolph, 
people who are accomplished, patented things, come out with products, people who are well-rounded. That's what we're all about. We have the greatest staff in the industry, bar none. And I will say that right now, and I mean it. I mean, I played baseball, Little League, you know, I was on the All-Star team, Pop Warner, high school football, um, before I got injured, college football. Uh, I always was active and athletic, and I was, then I moved into powerlifting. You know, but once you injure your knee, you kind of got to reevaluate things. And athleticism has always been a part of my life. Um, so yes, I was athletic, but with bodybuilding, I found that I, it's something that, while I love team sports and they were great, it really sucked when your team sucked around you. Bodybuilding, you can't blame anybody but yourself. If I miss a meal, it's not Derek's fault. Derek writes me the meal plan, I just have to follow it. You know, that's what's easy. With Team Salvation, a free diet and training program, you know, Derek tells me what to do. It's a foolproof plan. You've got hundreds of people competing daily in their best shape. And all I have to do is follow that plan and I'm accountable for myself. If I miss a workout, it's on me. You know, I'm not going to lose the game because the quarterback messed up. No, I'm going to lose the show because I didn't do my job. I didn't come in shape. Honestly, I never, ever, ever wanted to compete in bodybuilding. I started powerlifting as a teenager. I did really well at it. But honestly, it just, it was boring to me. You go to this meet, you're there all day, and powerlifters, strong people, phenomenal people. I respect the heck out of them. But you know what? I can't see doing that as a hobby. You just lift really heavy. I'd rather look good. You know, um, when I started Salvation again, it became the practice what you preach thing. I refuse to go there and tell people how to get in shape when I can't do it myself. So my first show was done to show that we do what we say and say what we do. And I said I was gonna compete and I did it. And from there, I found that, you know what? I might be decent at this and I actually enjoy dieting and training. So that's where com competition comes into play. And even if I didn't like it, if I absolutely despised it, I almost think it's my duty as a company owner to do what my customers are doing, to know what they're going through. My favorite all-time bodybuilder will have to be <laughs> It's true. Yes. You can't fucking see it.